Hello everyone and welcome back to Farmville 2. And many of you are probably going, Siri, what the heck do you mean welcome back? Well, yes, welcome back to Farmville 2. I can't help it. It's autumn, you guys. It is autumn and that is just putting me in the farming mood. And I really love farming games and I love gardening and I love being out in the soil in real life and in our pixel versions. So we are back at one of my favorite pixel farms here in Farmville. If you guys aren't familiar with Farmville 2, I have a mild obsession with the game and I have I've kept myself away for almost an entire year. In fact, I just loaded the game up again after about a year of being away and I just about tripped over myself laughing because I recognized that we had set everything up for Halloween last time we were here and now it's time for Halloween again. So I have successfully kept myself away from the beauties and the wonders and the excitement and the time sink of Farmville 2 for a whole year, but it is the autumn season and it is a beautiful October, so I am very eager to dive in and see what I've been missing out in in Farmville 2 because there's a few of you guys every now and then you'll send me like tweets and you know who you are and you'll let me know Siri you're missing so much there's so much going on in Farmville come on in Siri come on in and see what's happening and I have really really missed it I, I really have and I want to come back and play in it again so for the month of October at least maybe even further in because this game gives me so many ideas for all of my other series too oh and look Lily is playing with our pet cat there's Thursday. Oh, this is Lily Girl. So as you guys know, Lily from our uh, zoo crafting series and from our Sims 4 series, I do lots of crossovers. But yeah, uh, like there's Tate right there. There's Darling. Oh, and there I am. And we have so many bunnies. We have so many bunnies. We have so many horses. We have to expand. There's just always so much to do. Here's our other dog, Nutmeg. Oh, I forgot how I have two dogs. I really did forget that. But yeah, it has been a long, long time since I have come into Farmville to. But the thing is, as you guys know from all of my games, I get inspiration for all of my series from all over the place, from all sorts of different games. I'm actually drawing a tons of inspiration from Animal Jam, which everyone told me, well, like half of you told me, Animal Jam's awesome! And half of you guys told me, Animal Jam's a waste of time! And I'm actually finding it surprisingly fun to roleplay in Animal Jam and surprisingly full of item ideas for all of my series. So I'm having a great time with that, and I never know where the inspiration for different series will come from. So never turn your nose up at any game, is what I'm saying, because you have no idea what tiny little trick in that game may set you off and inspire you to change your life. I'm not joking. I know this is kind of a weird way to start off season three of Farmville too, but listen, how do you think I became a YouTuber? I saw somebody showing off their Sims families legacy style in video form and I went, that seems kind of cool. That's a very tiny itty bitty little niche of a, a thing to do with your time. You know what I mean? It's. <laughs> It's really a small feature of being able to show off your families in Sims 2 and the next thing you know I am suddenly making tons of videos and suddenly a youtuber So you never know what kind of inspiration you may gain from any game out of the blue Just if you give it a chance, so that's why I'm back here in Farmville 2 So having justified my time sinking that is going to go into this adorable game I am going to zip around. I mean look at all this stuff. I don't remember this. This is so cute This pumpkin thing and everything is running so much smoother than it used to so clearly they've been working hard on it There's my kitty cat. Oh, he's so pretty All right So we're gonna dive on in and just get to work on my farm and just see what's gonna happen I find it very convenient that everything is already decorated for me, which is awesome Awesome. So when you return to Farmville 2 after being away for a super duper long time, they will actually help you out by giving you free water for 24 hours. I don't know how long you have to be away from Farmville before they'll do that, but the 24 hour free water is a big deal. So we're going to water everything that needs watered really quickly. Come on, family. Oh, I love it. My little farming family. They're like, oh, we'll just pretend nothing happened. You didn't abandon us. Yay. So we have all the water we need. Usually water is a precious resource you have to manage, but, ooh, aha, uh -huh, harvest my well. I should have plenty of water. See, they're like, oh, we're out of water. No, we're not. Our well is going to overflow with the water all day long, which is really wonderful. Look at my pheasants. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about all of these things. This is very exciting. This, I'm so happy to be back, you guys. I am a sucker for this game. I love it so much, and I just get so much inspiration from it. Ah, oh, why did I keep my, why why do you put yourself like away from the things you love you guys you got you just got to embrace it sometimes all right little farmer siri oops feeding that horse by accident 
Little Farmer series gathering up all of the water. And as you can see, the well is still overflowing, so it'll be overflowing all day long. I'll need to come in and take care of it all day. Oh, the time sinking is already happening, but I'm a happy, I'm a happy, happy camper about it. Whoops, and I'm accidentally feeding some of my animals. All right, so let's go ahead, make sure everything's watered. We'll start off there, and then I'll start feeding my animals in a little bit. All right, gotta water that, and water this. And then we'll start, oh, I got some horseshoes. Yay, and I've got so many badges. Oh, I can't wait to see. Oh no, and I accidentally harvested that, that rye stuff. So we'll see, we'll see what's going on there. I've got so many horseshoes. I forgot that horses give you horseshoes when you feed them. I didn't mean to feed the horses either. That was kind of an accident. Look at all those badges we're snagging. All right, we're snagging badges left and right. Oh, my dogs are digging stuff up. Sweet, apparently, like it's Amber League too. I need to go into the the state fair right now. Am I leaving? Are we going to the state fair? I didn't really have any time to get, oh gosh. <laughs> so we're gathering up so many state fair things. That's awesome. All right, and there I am with my darling. So he's sitting down at our picnic table. Oh man, I love all the items. I love all the inspiration I can get from the items. Oh, and I love that I can play this with you. So all of these people that you see standing around, accept and send gift. There we go. All these people you see standing around are people who also play Farmville too, who have come by my home. Whoops, I should have seen what he wanted to do first. Oh well. Who have come by my home to help out with farming. And I can go to your guys' farms and help out with that too. It's kind of like um, Horse Haven that way, but a lot better uh, in my opinion because you can do so much more. I really wish you could help out with, with more in Horse Haven, but I'm sure they'll get there eventually. All right, and there's all sorts of quests that you always need to uh, keep up and going. Let's gather up any special eggs. Ah, oh, no special eggs for my hen house today. And then we should probably feed our animals <laughs> before I start looking into all of the quests and everything because they're probably very hungry after having been left alone for a very, very long time. So there's different troughs that you can put in the feed and it'll give you a little bonus, bonus for my, oh, look at my cute little chickens. Oh, I love all the types of chickens. Jeez, guys, I can't even tell you how much I love this game. Look at my pygmy goats. I totally forgot I had pygmy goats. Oh, my fertilizer bin's ready. Quick, harvest it, harvest it, Farmer Siri. The faster we harvest our fertilizer bin, the more fertilizer can be added in. So every time, haha, that rhymed. Every time you feed your animals, you can get fertilizer from them. And you want to harvest your fertilizer bin ASAP. Because then when you feed your animals next time, then that'll go towards giving you more fertilizer. Which sounds really boring, but I promise you it's super important. Alright, so we're doing good over there. Oh, and I've got a little baby bunny waiting to grow up in the rabbit nursery. How could I have turned my back on this game? I think I just got overwhelmed by how much there, like how many other series I was running. But guys, I love Farmville too, so I'm gonna indulge. I'm gonna indulge, there's so many ideas. Look at all the beautiful horses. There's so much room to expand. This is gonna be really cool. And it gives you so many, oh, a, a contour feather, what? Fly tying station, what? I'm clearly so behind, there's so much to do. All right, let's gather up this yogurt creamery stuff. Oh, look at all those horseshoes. There you go, you can breed horses. We'll have to check out any of, oh, my horses are already hungry again, what the heck? Oh my gosh, I need to make some more feed and I don't even know what to put in first. Like the taro root? I guess the taro root, maybe some tea leaves. I can't remember, a taro root, there's a lot of that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of taro root into feed. Uh, I think, and you can also make super feed, which is super awesome. No pun intended. Like, super feed is super important um, because you can super feed your animals with it, but we'll hang on to the super feed for now. Wow, it's been so long. All right, so we're going to feed all of the cows. There, This is my cow little area right here. What the heck is this? Oh, that's my wood pile hiding back there. And then, oh my gosh, yay! All right, we have a prize guinea hog. Jeez, this is just moving pretty quick. And I haven't even looked in the general store to see what I could buy yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot how much I love this game. Oh, now I'm happy. 
See, when you start recording everything you play for the fun of everybody, sometimes you sacrifice the games that aren't as popular. And guys, don't do that. If you ever get into like my position or you just ever get really, oh, look at my dog. It's encouraging my little donkey to give us more twine string. Those are donkeys, not pygmy goats. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Look at all the goat cheese. If this was Stardew Valley, my wife Leia would be so happy. And there's fine saddles all over the place. Jeez Louise, I'm happy. And look at the little rabbit hutch with the appetite mushrooms on it. Did I ever notice before that those were appetite mushrooms? I am so happy. I am just pleased as punch, you guys. Pleased as punch. Oh, and look at the bunnies! Oh, yeah, if you guys ever get in a position where you get to do something creative uh, for your career, then make sure you take care of, even if it's the little unpopular things that you love, make sure you take care of that too. That's what that's what this is a lesson in, in pure joy and encouraging yourself to just have some joy. And you can see I've got the tree house over here for Lily and Tate, my children, to be able to climb up and enjoy. Let's see. And then this... Now that we've fed all the animals, this is the comeback shack or the, little, or the comeback shed or whatever they call it. What it, does it have a name? It has a name, but this is what they make so that when you come back to the game after a super long time of being away, not only do you get that super awesome free water for a day, which I really should be taking care of. We'll look into that in just a second, but you can also, pardon me, little one. There we go. But you can also do all of these little quests. And when you do these quests, then you get special rewards like getting some farm bucks. And normally that costs real money. So that's totally awesome. You definitely want those farm bucks. You can get fertilizer packs. What? Is that a million? <gasps> what? They just throw a million coins at you? What? Oh my gosh, and you get to level up? We're gonna do this. Okay, so we need to gather 50 blackberries and fertilize 20 potatoes. So we're gonna plant some blackberries. They only take two minutes, what? Okay, I clearly, uh, that's that's a pretty awesome comeback if you ask me. So 50, and I can't remember, see it's been so long, I can't remember how much you get per little plot. So man, we've got so much to do. I am so happy. I I knew I would be happy. Like, while I feed my bees. <laughs> I knew I would be happy to come back, but I didn't realize I would be this happy <laughs> to come back to, to to Farmville. And Tate is just playing with Thursday the cat. This is just awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at all... And the other thing I love about Farmville, too, is it exposes you to so many different heirloom crops and so many unique crops from around the world. Totally awesome. So there's red barberry, gherkins, which I've actually seen gherkins a lot at farmers markets around here lately. So I think it's becoming more popular as more heirloomy crops become more popular. There's baby ginger. Uh, there's prince feather, which looks pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of quinoa. Blueberries. There's those beautiful flowers. Oh, wow. There's so many packets now. Purple asparagus. <gasps> the hibiscus flowers are still there. If I wanted to make like something kind of um, kind of tropical-y. Oh, my gosh. So there's a lot of packets. The packets you buy for farm bucks, but they stay around for a couple weeks. But that's up to you if you want to spend, spend your stuff on that. We're going to grab the blackberries. So I guess I'm just going to kind of coat blackberries <laughs> in this entire... Hey, blackberries, get back over here. Hey, 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 blackberries. All right, ah, uh, okay, hang on. I gotta get the blackberries back, there we go. So I'm gonna coat blackberries through all of these spots. And then hopefully we'll just, we'll just let the blackberries like grow. In fact, now that, since I have infinite water, I really could just do this all day, is just put down infinite blackberries on repeat. So we're just gonna cover everything in black, or all the blackberries. There we go. And then you come through and you water everybody. And thankfully I have some sprinklers installed. I really was dedicated to this for a long time and it feels kind of fun to come back. I guess it's how some people feel about returning to say maybe RuneScape or some of those types of games. And then we can go ahead and fertilize some of the blackberries so you get double your berries. Dun 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 dun. And I'll fertilize all of these. There we go. How are you guys hungry already? I have forgotten how greedy you guys are. Oh, and I forgot to feed my pigus, so we'll feed my little pig pen up here. So somebody needs to come, somebody come feed the pig pen. And then my little sheep shack needs fed too. So somebody come feed the sheep shack. And somebody come feed the prize chicken coop. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Oh, and I've got, oh my cat, Thursday's digging up. When you fertilize things, your cat will sometimes dig up bonuses for you. So yeah, Thursday's digging up bonus speed grows. Go Thursday, you're awesome. 
Oh, look at them! My blackberries are already growing! Oh, the farm has gone from abandoned to profitable in like two seconds. That's so awesome. All right, we got some clay from my, some cool clay, which you can use in the kiln from my pigs. Jeez, I forgot how much I love this. Yay, I'm so happy. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I'm just in that like early morning stage of sheer joy being able to collect all my brown eggs. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. All right. And then we'll come over. I think I need a couple more wood trees or maybe I should remove some of those trees. I'm not sure what trees I want to have in my groves right now. And I need to come over and we'll gather up everything from our crop dryer since we have a moment. Maybe some of the society garlic or watercress or white lilies. We'll, we'll dry out the white lilies because those sound beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and harvest our fuel pump. Ah, oh, just getting right back into the flow of things. It's kind of amazing how it's been so long and yet it's all coming back to me pretty quick. Oh, so cool. Oh, look at the blackberries. Beautiful fields and fields of blackberries. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And look at that. Darling's just running through. Darling and Lily and our dog. Here's one of our dogs. I can't even remember. I know Nutmeg. What's your name? Almond. That's right. I have my dogs, Nutmeg and Almond. And look at that. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I need to get this planted up with something. We'll harvest up uh, ginger. This is normally where I keep like a bunch of herbs. So like the lavender is what I usually grow over here or the mint. Let's grow. Uh, I guess we're growing vanilla. Okay. There we go. We'll grow some vanilla right over here. Why not? I should probably grow something that grows faster since we have infinite water right now, which is very like, oh my gosh, that's one of the best perks ever. So look at the size of those prized strawberry or blackberries. What the heck? They're huge. I don't remember them being that big before. Wow. Whoa. All right. Oh, we just got the red mastery ribbon. How have I not gotten that for blackberries yet? There we go. Oh, look at that. I actually got the little mastery ribbon. I forgot how you actually get little plaques for when you get mastery. Wouldn't it be cute to do something like that in zoo crafting? Look at all those mastery points. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, that was fun. All right. Hopefully, did I achieve? I should have achieved like that goal. Yeah. All right. And now we just need to fertilize 20 potatoes so I can totally handle that. Oh my gosh. There's more. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right. State fair is like really gearing up. So let's go ahead and 20 potatoes. So where are my potatoes? Man, that's so fun to be back. All right. Potatoes. There we go. They take 12 hours, so let's see, four, and then eight, so there we go. This should be enough potatoes to make him happy, I think. One, two, three, four, five, yep, five times four is 20, so he should be happy with this. And we'll water these potatoes, and then we'll fertilize these potatoes. Potatoes are a good autumn crop. And then we'll see what kind of quests are currently going on, and what's currently happening in the world of Farmville 2 so that we can dive in and get even more done. Jeez, I, I love, I just love Farmville too. So I, I thank you for your guys, for your patience. Yes, and we just leveled up. I forgot we leveled up, dang it. We should have, when you level up, all of your crops flourish. Oh, if I had remembered that. If I had remembered that. Oh, okay. Um, I, do I get a free level one field now? Oh, darn. All right. All right, gosh darn, I totally forgot when you level up everything, everything just goes bonkers and, and everything's hungry again and everything's ready to harvest again. Ah, so learn from my mistakes. All right, so now if we earn 50 country fair points and make six banana cream pies and gather up some potatoes, we can go up the next level. That's so cool. All right, you guys, well, let's go ahead and gather up our potatoes and our, our vanilla beans. Ah, oh, I should have definitely, I totally just forgot, totally forgot that that's how it works. So we'll gather up our potatoes and our vanilla beans. The family's pretty happy about that. There we are, get rewards. The state fair is like freaking out. They're like, you've been gone forever, what's happening? All right, and then got that done and let's make some of those banana cream pies because that sounds amazing. I love the cooking in this as well. It's one of my favorite things to do. And so, oh, I have enough sugar. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did it, sweet. All right, and now we get another million, another cool million in the bank for making some really fancy banana cream pies and some more of the other things. I just can't believe that, there we go. And we can get a baby Assyrian cow. 
I can't believe it. It's super feed and farm bucks. If we water four nutmeg trees, feed four pigs, and make two strawberry lemonades. Can I make the strawberry lemonade like right now? I can. One, two. Oh my gosh. And then I, I, I know I can feed my pigs really quickly. Where's my pigus? My pigu feeding. I think that's right over here. So I just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, and then watering the nutmegs. Well, I know what I'm gonna put into this now. So do, do I need to empty out that grove of trees. This is just so funny. <laughs> it's just moving so quickly. I wasn't prepared, you guys. All right, let me remove these two heirloom wood trees. And then I will replace the these trees with some nutmeg trees. Everything is like, ah, feeding everyone. So much is going on. So much is suddenly happening. Oh, I love it. There's just so much happening. Oh my gosh, and we have just, we have just, let's see, you have a prized bred horse. Oh, it's one of our horses that we bred ourselves is now prized. And I haven't even had a chance to look at all of the animals that are available right now. There's just so much going on. Goodbye, prized horse. So whenever an animal becomes prized and I don't have enough room in my prized animal stables, then they'll just go into the pasture. And I have hundreds of animals in here, if I remember correctly. 481 animals. I told you guys I was really, really into Farmville 2 for a while. And I'm barely scratching the surface on the things that are in the game right now. So let's go ahead and grab some nutmeg trees really quickly. So heirloom monkey cocoa, heirloom soap bark, heirloom sweet acacia. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, woolly butt tree. That sounds awesome. Oh my goodness. And then let's see, what else do we have? Gum tree, lemon, apple, let's see, blood, pine, crab tree. We're looking for the nutmeg tree. And once we finish that up, then I think we'll go ahead and, oh, there it was, there it was. So I want to water four nutmeg trees. So I'm gonna put four nutmeg trees into this little grove and then you can water them and take care of them all at once. So we'll go ahead and take care of those guys. Might as well water these plants and start harvesting up these plants since we have infinite water right now. Hey, 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 come here. There we go. All right, there we go, another welcome back piece. The grocer wants to award you some very special gifts for that, so five, Five of the very rare farm bucks, another cool million coins, a baby cow, and some super feed. My gosh, that is so much stuff. Oh wait, where'd my cow go? Whoops, <laughs> all right, I put my cow in somewhere else. All right, so we need to buy one Andalusian horse to complete all of these things, feed two horses, and gather 30 water crops. So we will work on that next time, because that is just, oh my gosh, that's so much stuff, and I have so many things I need to plant. I need to start harvesting all of these things, and then watering everything again, and like, there's just so much going on. It's pretty impressive. All right, there we go. And we're just harvesting things left and right. So yeah, there's a lot going on and we've not even looked at the quest. So we're just gonna take a quick little peek at the quest that's happening right now. And that's this one right here, which I don't know if I can actually finish in time since we've only got like 24 more hours because we came into this so late. But this is from Sweet to Sour. And our wonderful little friend, I think his name is Perry. I feel so bad for forgetting their names. He was the orphan that actually she adopted last time, which was really fun to do. And he had a he had a fight with one of his friends, Dennis, and he broke Dennis's skateboard by accident. So we're trying to make everything better by making some delicious quinoa breakfast muffins, which I'm really touched that he enjoys so much. And so we need to water 25 quinoa, harvest 10 prize quinoa, and make some quinoa breakfast muffins in order to make everything right in their little world, which I think is so sweet. I really love, oh, look at all this. We've got so much quinoa. So I can make at least two of the quinoa muffins and now I just need to get more quinoa. All right, so we'll work on that for everybody and I'm gonna work on planting everything and just kind of like using up my water as wisely as possible because infinite water is such a powerful tool. And I'm really excited, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna just be playing Farmville kind of, not really with any particular schedule. There's a chance it's gonna be daily because I love it so much. But not really with any particular schedule, but just with the love that I have for the game and just for the love that I have for all the inspiration I get from it. Uh, so expect to see it just kind of intermittently during October. And if you guys like it a lot too, then of course I'll try to keep it going outside of October too. Because the quest and everything that they do, it, you can really get a lot of inspiration from it especially for such open-ended sandbox series that we run like our sim series and our zoo crafting series i get so much inspiration for zoo crafting from all of the other games we play so i'm really looking forward to it but all right i think that's gonna be good for now let's check on this quest again too 
feed eight adult otters for fun make seven wild rice stuffed squash for barb's ball so it's been she's been waiting on this fishing adventure like event for pretty much a year so we'll also help barb out with this so i'll get some wild rice uh i'll get some wild rice planted that sounds like a good idea but all right you guys we've still got so much to do we're only about halfway back to getting the farm back on its feet and i will take care of it and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye